Hello and good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to the retreat center in Northern California in the Redwoods. The weather is changing. Last time it was a little bit chilly. We've got uh, the seasons changing. Spring is coming. Pollen and allergies are also coming. But uh, this is also a time where the body starts to loosen up. Thank goodness. The cold weather restricts the tissues. The cold weather causes the body to contract, causes the tissues to contract, the blood to uh, slow down. And then finally, when the weather starts to warm up, they can release, they can relax. You find yourself a little bit more limber, you know, a little bit, you find a little more ease of movement. The joints may seem to be, you know, a little bit more uh, relaxing and malleable. All right. So last time we we were talking about uh, three things I was stressing. Three things. The the first one was the uh, what was it? The felt sense. Developing a felt sense. Deepening your felt sense. This has to do with this has to do with uh, uh, the bot the body's processes and their connection to your energy state. Obviously, you know, at the end of the day, we're tired and we're feeling low on energy. We're feeling all those things. We're feeling tired and the effects of being tired. You might have a little bit less, you know, mental uh, cognitive abilities. Uh, whereas in the morning, if you had a nice rest, you know, you feel uh, vital, you feel alive, you feel ready to go, you're, you're inspired, you're motivated to move. So uh, just as a, uh, as a battery, we charge, we discharge energy. At, at night, we charge up, we have cell replacement, and uh, our waste is collected in the morning. We let all that out, and we're ready to go. At the end of the day, we've done our deeds for the day, and so the cycle continues and we rest. So our felt sense, what is important is that we develop throughout the day the felt sense and a deep felt sense for any shifts or any changes that are happening in the body. If we can develop this consistent awareness, then we are in tune with the body and we can respond accordingly. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. So that's uh, a deep felt sense in the body. And then throughout the day, you feel, you know, you're hungry or you're sleepy. And it's important to listen to those, to those messages from the body. We can't turn off the messages from the body. They're going to continue to come, right? So we have to figure out how to, re, how to uh, address those messages and listen to the body and uh, give the body what it needs. So then uh, the second thing I talked about last time was developing a relationship with this section of your body this section of your body we call it the dantian the elixir field we call it the energy ocean okay so you have your guts we call the guts is the actual physical center um and then the guts is your your bio battery so if you think about it you have this interesting really long tube of intestine that's all coiled together and it's processing the food that you're putting into your body and it's using that and converting it to energy all the while you have your organs that are uh, also processing um, the food and helping to eliminate any waste helping to filter any um, poisons helping to also uh, convert any uh, sugars and fats and then uh, the last thing that we looked at 
the last thing that I asked you to focus on was was um, improving your immune system. So we t we went deep into two techniques: the scholar fire breathing and the martial fire breathing last time. So this time we'll work on relaxation, we'll, we'll work on movement, and we'll work on breathing. And then we'll go into also a little bit of the, the Dantian and look at how we can support the organs as the organs are trying to support us. All right? Simple as that. Got to work with your body. Your body's trying to work for you. And all of the tasks that you're trying to do throughout the day, the uh, best thing you, do, you can do is work with, your, work with your body and support your body as it's supporting you. The first thing that you have to do is develop an internal awareness. An internal awareness, a relaxed awareness of the body and what's happening throughout the day. So I call this also integration. Integration of awareness. In Tai Chi and Qigong, we do all sorts of uh, drills and practices and exercises to cultivate awareness. So for those of you that practice martial arts, you practice martial arts and you develop your uh, techniques and you develop your defense skills as also an exercise of awareness. So you learn how to respond to different situations and different scenarios and what the uh, best techniques would be for you. And so that where you do all of this training and all of this what we call regulating so that if a situation does arise, you can act on command, on demand, um, and the body can, or the mind can direct the body as needed without thinking. So when it comes to integration and when it comes to internal awareness and when it comes to relaxed awareness of the body, we want that integration. Anytime a message comes up from the body says, hey, I'm tired, or hey, I need to, eat, need to eat, or hey, I have stagnation in this area, you could say, okay, I know how to address that, I know how to do, I know how to move it out. So we'll look at uh, also uh, stagnation as well. So relaxed awareness, the first thing, and uh, we'll look at also um, breathing, we'll look at uh, posture, and we'll look at the Dantian again, and just some movements to help uh, help us formulate a relationship between the body, the mental focus and awareness, and then also uh, the breath as a strategy, okay? So these three things really when you do your movements, anytime you're doing your exercises and uh, your uh, movements throughout the day, you want to have these things intact. Your, your body movement, your uh, mental awareness and focus, and your, your breathing. So that those three, those three uh, components are, harmoni are harmonious. Okay? That's what we want to integrate. That's really the, the benefit of, uh, of Qigong that you want to take away and take into your life. Okay? Uh, let's see, what else can I say? So in terms of using Qigong for yourself, obviously like right now we're in a, we're in a crisis. So depending on the type of person and depending on your... Um, let, uh, a lot. Of, so we're using words like... Um, Conditions, pre, uh, pre-existing, you know, conditions that would make you susceptible, uh, make your immune system susceptible to viruses. Uh, in this case, you want to boost your immune system, right? So you're, you would be in what I would say uh, when it comes to these sorts of ca these categories: uh, preventative, re rehabilitation and recovery, uh, maintenance, and then also strengthening. So these are the categories we can look at when we're when we're um, using Qigong, when we're looking at Qigong, and then where our, our, individu our individual body fits and how our indiv individual body fits in these categories. Like I said, we're in, the cri we're in a crisis right now. Uh, right now we want to do some, do some strengthening exercises. Uh, we, we also want to maintain our baseline health. We don't want to dip down at all. We don't want to do any activities that's going to that's going to bring our baseline health down. And then if uh, if people are experiencing symptoms, we want to rehabilitate and recover. So right now we're focusing on we're focusing on establishing our baseline first, developing the awareness of where we're at, 
establishing the baseline and then also uh, helping to strengthen strengthen the uh, um, the body's uh, state okay so the first thing that I would like you to do is just assess yourself assess your body assess your posture and assess your breathing okay so these things are going to give you clues as to how you're feeling you whether you're up regulated or down regulated okay whether you're relaxed or whether you're um, say elevated elevated you could be elevated emotionally psycho emotionally uh, without even knowing it uh, what we want to do is maintain relaxed awareness so that's a nice healthy combination of having elevated awareness but we are relaxed so really that's how we want to integrate our psycho-emotional state within our body oh, I'm sorry within our everyday life how do we do that that's the question so breathing is a strategy breathing is the strategy if you can maintain a deep breathing pace for yourself throughout the day you will be able to preserve vital energy you will be able to um, respond without reacting and then you'll be able to also over time increase your health span your lifespan and your longevity okay so let's look at breathing first thing I'd like you to do is develop a nice deep breathing pace for yourself so a nice deep breathing pace for ourselves for yourself we call this we call this deep abdominal breathing, regular abdominal breathing, okay? We use this uh, in Qigong. It's actually one of the uh, foundational practices of Qigong, Tai Chi, and any internal uh, arts, uh, Chinese martial arts. So, when we breathe, we take a deep breath. Where do you feel that in the body? Again, Deep breath, and where do you feel that in the body? A lot of people feel that in their chest, right? A lot of people feel that in the chest. Inhale, exhale. What we wanna do is bring down the awareness of that, bring down that uh, movement, the body movement into the abdomen. So we want to deep breathe into the belly, and then use the abdominal muscles to push back and exhale. So use the abdominal muscles to expand, inhale, and use the abdominal muscles to contract and exhale. Again. I'm breathing or exhaling out the mouth. You can exhale out the nose or the mouth. And I'm just doing it because I'm talking. Inhale deeply, feel it in the abdomen. And exhale deeply also from the abdomen. Abdomen. Engage your abdominal muscles, okay? Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now I'm gonna let you take a minute or so and try to develop a nice deep breathing pace for yourself. Try to sustain your attention and your focus on your belly. If you need to, press your abdomen, press your hands against your abdomen. Inhale. Exhale. Good. 
So here's the important thing. And here's an exercise that you can try. Count the breath cycles. So one of the things that happens is you find that the, the mind has a tendency to drift off, to wander off. It uh, goes, it wants to remind you of things that you need to do. It wants you to, it wants to remember things in the past that were uh, joyful and happy, things in the past that were uh, the opposite of that. What we need to do is make sure that we maintain the mind and the focus internally to sustain the practice. But one, one way to do that is to try to count the breaths. You'll find once you get to, you know, whatever your number is, you'll find that the mind, it jumps, it jumps. So it wants to jump and drift off, but then you, you'll have to focus and bring it back to remember what repetition you're on. One, uh, up to, you know, some people usually can get around between seven and seven and 10. Some people can get up to like 20. So it really depends on how well you're able to focus, okay? So that's the activity and that's the exercise a lot of times for uh, Qigong because they're slow moving exercises and the movements aren't necessarily too difficult. The, the, the trick is all in the mind and to maintain mental uh, focus as you're moving, okay? So again, we go back to the deep abdominal breathing. Last time we talked about uh, a, we talked about breathing also in the back and I wanted to go into that as well, okay? So we put our hands now on the front and the back, okay? Put our hands now on the front and the back. And we want to feel the breath going into the front and also the back. So inhale and feel the back expand, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So how do you engage the lower back? Inhale deeply so that the abdomen expands all the way and then feel the breath now into the lower back, okay? So inhale deeply so that the abdomen expands all the way and then go into the lower back. And then release and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Next time we'll look at the pelvic floor and also engage in the pelvic floor because what we want is the lower torso, the abdominal cavity, all to be expanding. When it's expanding and contracting, you are simulating that of a massage, squeeze, contracting, and opening. This helps us to facilitate the um, metabolic processes in terms of converting food into energy and also eliminating any wastes and poisons. Okay, This is how we can help the body to uh, facilitate uh, energy production and uh, waste elimination. Okay? These are the things that we can do to help preserve energy and also um, maximize efficiency of energy. Okay, so let's go back to our breathing cycle. Now we're going to look at breathing and also look at posture. So I'd like you where you're at, whether you're sitting or standing, to assess your posture. How do your shoulders feel? Are they up? Sink them. How does uh, your chest feel or your ribs? When you breathe, do they feel tight or is there stuck? Is there a stagnation there? Try to relax them as you inhale deeply. What about your lower back? How's your lower back? Is it sore at all? What about your neck? Okay. Is your neck and is your posture hunched over? Or are you standing up straight and elongating the spine? Okay. In Tai Chi, we look at trying to elongate the spine and maintain what we call central equilibrium. Uprightedness, right? So in meditation, in sitting meditation, you see this needed, and you see to see this exercise. It's also a component of Tai Chi Chuan, which is moving meditation. Okay. So first, now let's combine breath and let's combine posture, and let's look at uh, what is happening in our posture as we're breathing. Let's look at what is happening with the mind when we're focusing on breathing and posture at the same time. Okay, and let's see how long you can sustain your attention and sustain your focus and awareness without your mind drifting off 
or until your mind tries to drift off, okay? So first what I'd like you to do is feel your feet against the ground, okay? Feel that connection. Maintain your mind and put your mind there. Feel your toes. You can flex your toes if you need to. Now feel your ankles and feel your knees. So we're pretty much doing a body scan. Go into your hips and into your lower back and then into your spine. Bring your hips a little bit forward. Tuck your tailbone in just a little bit. And then from the tailbone in, let the spine elongate, come up. And now come into the neck and head and tuck the chin just a little bit so that you kind of lift up the top of your head. We call this the crown. Okay. And the arms are relaxed. The wrists and fingers relax. The elbows are all relaxed. Okay. So feel this posture, feel this um, alignment, and feel, the, uh, feel this relaxed awareness. Feel this relaxed state of awareness in that your mind and your awareness and your attention are in your body. And then also, it's relaxed. So now go back to your breath, your deep abdominal breathing, and try to hold this erect posture. Go back to your deep abdominal breathing and try to hold this erect posture. Go back to your deep abdominal breathing pace. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling. Using the abdominal muscles to expand and contract. Good. So it might be difficult for you to maintain awareness and maintain your focus if you're doing a simple exercise like this. So it's what you want to do is maintain the awareness and the focus of the abdomen as expanding with the breath and then also your posture. So here's the exercise then. We're going to add just another movement and layer to this. Okay. When you exhale, you're going to sink the weight and bend your knees. When you inhale, you're gonna come up, feel the movement come from up the knees, the legs, and up into the head, neck, and into the crown. That's your exhale. You're gonna inhale, sink, bend your knees. I'm sorry, exhale, sink, bend your knees. And you're gonna inhale, come up. And at the top of your inhale, you're at the top of your posture. You're gonna exhale, sink. And you're doing this on your own with your deep abdominal breathing pace. Inhale, push off the ground, erect the spine, neck, and then head. Exhale and sink the weight, bend your knees. And inhale. And exhale. At the end of the exhale, you sink your weight, bring your mind to your feet, and now start to inhale, come up. At the top of your inhale, you've elongated and erected the spine, neck, and head. And then exhale, relax, and sink the weight. And inhale. And exhale. I'd like you to continue this on your own. We're combining the breath and the body together. This is inhale. And exhale. Release and relax. All right. So. I want to say hi to, to Ken and John and let you uh, remind you guys because you guys have, uh, you guys know that uh, we practice with six major bows of the body. So 
what we're doing is right now a subtle exercise of opening and closing the body's bows, mainly the two leg bows, the spine bow, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> right. And so for those that you, that do not know, we we divide the body into six major bows. Two leg bows, two arm bows, the spine, and then also the chest. Okay? As I said, we're doing a uh, movement exercise with deep abdominal breathing in which we're combining the opening and closing of the leg bows and the spine with deep abdominal breathing. So just to repeat that, we're combining deep abdominal breathing, qigong breathing, with subtle spine opening and leg opening and closing, right? So this is how we're doing it. We're inhaling, elongating and erecting the spine, neck, head, that's our inhale, exhaling and releasing that, sinking the weight, bending the knees, and that's exhale. Exhale to relaxation. Relaxation. Inhale. Come up. You feel postured. And exhale. Release and relax. <laughs> and inhale again. And exhale. Okay, so just there, we were doing a deep abdominal breathing. I'd like you to stay with your deep abdominal breathing pace as I talk it, if you can do that, okay? So that's the meditation exercise of today, staying with your deep abdominal breathing pace. Remember, our goal is to integrate that into life, into our everyday lives, um, movements okay so maintain your deep abdominal breathing pace the next thing that we looked at was the posture what is uh, our postural state are we up erect vital and willing or are we a little suppressed depressed uh, unmotivated maybe scared or anxious you can see that demonstrated in my my body's posture right could see this as opposed to this and this is where you want to be in uh, last week's video we talked about and we did a visual a visualization exercise of being able to move through life with this vital uh, energy with this will to uh, fight and survive right so that's what we're going back into today that we're going into developing and strengthening the posture so that's going to facilitate and uh, it's going to um, it's going to facilitate that psycho-emotional state to to uh, fight and uh, increase that increases your vitality and your will to survive. So we're doing a, a, a very soft and slow what we say yin way as opposed to yang. OK, so let's go back to the exercise, going back to the basics, deep abdominal breathing. If you guys are able to maintain that deep abdominal breathing state, right on, good, right? So what we, our goal is to be able to regulate without regulating. We say regulate without regulating. If you can regulate your deep abdominal breathing pace and integrate that into your life, then you can, you can uh, move through life and assess without, and respond without reacting you can preserve your vital uh, body's energy and then over time increase your health span your lifespan and your longevity okay hope that's clear okay so i'm doing a lot of talking right now hopefully you're doing a lot of breathing inhaling deeply exhaling deeply okay you might be going into a uh deep relaxed you know meditative state great 
Now we're gonna go and we're going to exaggerate the exercise that we were just doing. We're gonna exaggerate the exercise that we were just doing, in which we're going to bend the knees more. So take a, take a wider stance. We're gonna bend the knees more. And we're also gonna close the spine more, okay? So if I show you the side view, bend the knees, close the spine. So now I'm hunching just a little bit, but that's okay, because I'm going up, okay? Now I'd like you to do is at your own pace, everybody's at home, so you're free to go at your own pace. You're gonna exhale as we did earlier, sink the weight, close the leg bows and spine bow, inhale, come up, elongate and erect the spine in posture, top of the head, and exhale, release and relax, either through the mouth or the nose. Inhale. Exhale, release and relax. Inhale, use the abdomen. And exhale, release and relax. Inhale deeply. And release and relax. I'll give you a side view. Remember, you're going at your own pace. This is exhale. Inhale, push away from the ground. Erect the spine and push the top of the head up. And exhale, release that. Inhale up. And exhale, release and relax. Inhale up again. Remember to push the top of the head up. And exhale, release the weight and relax. Okay, I'm gonna exaggerate it further. All right, so I want more movement in the body. I wanna stretch the tissues more. I'm gonna exaggerate the movement more. That's inhale and exhale, release. Inhale up. And exhale, release and relax. Push the earth away with the feet, come up the legs, spine, roll the head up, push the top of the head up. As you inhale deeply and exhale, release and relax. Good. I hope you've been able to find a nice deep breathing pace for yourself. Let's stop. Let's go to the inhale, erect the posture. So on your next inhale and posture it up. Exhale, release the breath, hold your posture. Inhale into the abdomen again holding your posture 
and exhale again, release, and relax here, holding the posture still. Release any unneeded tension, inhale, using the abdomen, and still holding your posture, exhale, but release any unneeded tension that you're holding on to. Continue your deep abdominal breathing pace. And exhale, release and relax, holding your posture erect and intact. Now I'd like you to close your eyes and just direct your attention and direct your focus inward, scanning the body, just feeling around your feet, your ankles, your knees, your hips, your back, your abdomen, your chest, shoulders, feel your neck, feel your face. You want all these tissues, the whole body relaxed, every cell relaxed, yet you're still holding your posture intact. Continue your deep abdominal breathing pace in this posture. You can do this while sitting or while standing. All right. Now we're going to go back into the same exercise. I'm bringing in that chi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's important. Making sure that the oxygen around is fresh. If you're inside, open up the windows. Allow that fresh oxygen in. Uh, or go outside. The best time to do this is sunrise and sunset. Uh, we know that uh, in Qigong practice, the sunrise and sunset are the times when the sun rising and setting that the trees are going through a chemical process and the air as a result is vital. So the qi is in the air, we say. So we're breathing in that qi. Yes, we are. All right. So I hope you're able to um, develop that nice, deep abdominal breathing pace for yourself. I want you to continue to sustain that. That's what we're focusing on today because the goal is to integrate that into your everyday life. Integrate deep abdominal breathing into your everyday life. That's going to help you preserve your vital energy. It's going to help your body's efficiency of uh, metabolic processes and over time increase your health span, your lifespan, and your longevity. Okay, so we're going back into the exercise. We're going back into the subtle movement of opening and closing the legs and the spine. So this is my subtle movement, if you can see me here, but I'm gonna make that even more subtle and even more nuanced, almost to where you cannot see it. So we're doing that same movement and exercise and combining that with the inhale and the exhale very simple exercise just very simple movement but the key is to coordinate your inhalation and exhalation with the movement and maintain your mental uh, focus from your feet to the top of your head maintain your mental and a uh, mental focus and awareness from the teeth from the feet to the top of your head as you inhale and exhale all right so you're holding your posture Deep abdominal breathing, if you need to, hold your hands at your abdomen. Inhale. Erect and elongate your spine up to the top of the head. Stretch the neck as well. And exhale, release and relax. Exhale, 
at your own pace. From the feet, push away from the earth. Inhale, erect the spine. Elongate the neck, push the top of the head up. Inhale deeply. And exhale, release and relax it. Very subtle, very nuanced movement here. Again, inhaling, pushing away from the earth, elongating the spine, pushing the head up, inhale deeply, and exhale, release and relax. All right, let's now add some hand movements to this, okay? I'm gonna add a little complexity to the exercise. I think you guys will be able to follow. Make sure you sustain your deep abdominal breathing, okay? Uh, for those of you who have uh, trained with me before, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna call this a double hand yang coil, double hand yang coil. And you're integrating your spine wave, you're integrating your chest bow opening and closing, double hand yang coil okay you're basically circling your hands and you can see my hands and fingers come up and out down i'm circling up out down okay the question is how does this integrate with the movement that we were just doing. Remember we were coming up, inhaling, posturing up, that's when the, the hands rise. We exhale, sink and relax. Hands fall, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Rise up, hands rise, exhale, and sink and relax. Good. Now I'm going to add a little bit more complexity. You're going to turn to the side. See how I turn? My feet stay parallel. I just turn to the side. I inhale, come up, and exhale, sink and relax. Inhale, come up, and exhale, sink, relax, hands fall. Inhale, and exhale, release, let's turn to the other side. Inhale, And exhale. Notice my back, notice my chest. So you're going at your own pace, hopefully. Breathing deeply. Inhaling. Posturing up, elongating up. And exhaling deeply. Releasing, relaxing, inhale, and exhale. back to center. Let's do three repetitions here on your own.
deep abdominal breathing, abdomen expands on the inhale, exhale, abdomen contracts. Let's go to the side again. Inhaling deeply, abdomen expands. Exhale, release, relax, closing the spine bow. Let's go inhale up, turn to the other side, and then exhale. We're going to do a figure eight, if you will. Inhale. And the other side. Exhale. Inhale. Going to the opposite side. Posturing up. Inhaling deeply. Exhale. Release. Relax. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale deeply, abdomen. And exhale. Hold your posture now. Hands fall, hands relax. Hold the posture up. We're gonna rest here for a second. I want you to have the hands placed in front of you, the palms facing one another. Maintain an awareness of the connection of your palms. Maintain awareness of the connection of your palms as you sustain your posture up. Sustain your erect spine and your stretched neck, tucked in chin, and your lifting of the head. As you are connected to your feet, feel the connection of your feet all the way to the top of your head, and then feel the connection of your palms to one another. Let's take five deep abdominal breaths here. on your own, at your own pace. And just do a body scan. Try to feel all of the tissues of the body relaxed, yet you're still holding your posture up. Good. All right. Well, that is the extent of the exercise for today. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go over a couple of more more things before we wrap up and finish. But I would like uh, for you guys to take this opportunity to ask any questions or provide any comments um, 
We have a few more people here than what we did last week, just a few. So, you know, I can answer some questions if you like, and uh, I can tell that there's some people that are new that haven't really done this or, or um, uh, trained with me before. So if you like to ask some questions, feel free to do that. If you have some comments, uh, feel free to do that as well. And um, yeah, what the last thing that I wanted to mention is uh, the abdominal cavity, okay? The abdominal cavity. We're uh, literally holding our guts in our pelvis. The way that our pelvis is shaped is in a bowl, right? We literally uh, have the pelvis it's not, it's the, the, the pelvic bone is not straight. It's actually, you know, a little curved in like this. So here sits our entire upper body, our, to our torso, and what we call the guts. The guts are the um, energetic center of the body, energetic center of the body. We call the guts, the physical Dantian, the physical manifestation of the energy center, Dantian being the elixir field. The elixir field, meaning the field where the energy is cultivated. Uh, the energy ocean, it's also called, okay? So this is the guts, where we have this really long tube of intestine that's all coiled in and held by uh, the pelvis, okay? So from here, you have all of these chemical processes that happen so that you can continue to do the things that you do throughout the day until that last day where you're no longer here anymore, okay? So one of the exercises that we do is massage the abdomen. Last week I mentioned developing a relationship with your Dan Tien, okay? I'm moving, so if I, if I uh, give you the rear view, I'm moving let's say your this is your uh, counterclockwise I'm going in the direction that the the bowels move and the bowels eliminate okay counterclockwise if I look down I'm going clockwise if I look down I'm going clockwise okay the you're looking at me and I believe I'm going clockwise for you okay but when you when you do it for yourself, you're going counterclockwise, the direction of the bowel system, okay? What is this good for? So, the anytime we address, assess the body, we use our hands, right? If we hurt, we go, ow, we use our hands. Hey, ouch, that hurt, you know? So the hands are also used to massage as well, whether it's our our own body or you know the body of an, a, a patient a client or friend partner whatever so the hands are what we use in the body to assess and also to address okay so what we're doing is abdominal massage in the direction of the bowels okay the question is how much pressure it's a very good question how much pressure do I put all we're doing is supporting the abdomen and supporting the dantian in its chemical processes we're supporting so basically we're just giving some attention that's what we're doing the power of presence is is something you know we talk uh, about presence the power of being present the power of being present with yourself and with your dantian is vital power of presence okay so that's just one factor, not just that. The attention and awareness and the breathing into the Dantian is a whole other thing. When we start to look at massage and strengthening the abdomen, then we start to add more pressure, add more attention, add more focus, okay? So that's something that we can do as well. For now, we're just I'm just doing a light uh, massaging. You can hear... that right if I don't do it this way you don't hear a noise I'm actually pushing you 
you can hear that, right? Yeah, I hope you're doing this, okay? The next thing that we do is we extend that out from the uh, abdomen, out from the dantian. As our sh extremities, our arms and our legs and our spine extend out from the, from the uh, dantian. So we extend it out. And then the legs. Go to the back. You can go to the front, down. Go to the back, down. And then all the way down to the feet. We could do this as many times as we want, going back into the center. So what we're doing and what we're looking at is the Dantian. We have a real Dantian in Qigong. We call it the real Dantian, which is our guts. And we have a false Dantian. The false Dantian is actually uh, what uh, we call the beer belly. It's what a lot of us call the beer belly. That's the false Dantian. Okay, so the accumulation of fat in front of the abdomen here is what we call the false dantian. That accumulation of fat is what we want to access uh, for energy. Okay, so we also look at the energy channel. One of the main energy channels of the body goes down. It starts from here. It goes down the middle of the abdomen, goes around under... <laughs> Uh, what we call the pelvic floor and then it comes up the spine the mid spine that's the another channel called the uh governing and conception so we have this loop of these two main vessels the uh governing and conception vessels so come down like this um through the sexual organs and then up governing conceptioning vessel so when we engage the abdomen we stimulate energy throughout that channel and when we put pressure on the fat we loosen up the fat so that the energy that is released in the fat can move also through that channel those main vessels conception and governing vessel like a loop like a wheel that goes from the middle of the body down, around, back, down, around, back, up. Yeah, that's the conception and governing vessel. So at the center of that, at the bottom, is the again the real Dantian and the false Dantian. The real Dantian is the guts where um, food is converted into energy. False Dantian is the fat storage of excess food that we've eaten. And we're massaging that to help loosen that fat to be used and also helping the chemical processes of the uh, organs and the guts to convert food and also eliminate waste. The uh, importance of eliminating waste is uh, cannot be you know talked about enough, right? If we're not eliminating, if we're not uh, peeing and pooping, we're not getting rid of waste, and that just uh, backs up into the system, like a sewage backup. And that's not gonna do any of us any good. It's not gonna do the body any good. So we have to have an efficient process of eliminating waste. The more that you can eliminate waste, the cleaner your body will be. So we've, we've established a nice deep breathing pace I hope that throughout this session you've been able to continue that neat, that nice deep breathing pace for yourself, inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply, okay? 
just that simple motion is massaging the dantian. It's helping the dantian throughout its various chemical processes of converting food and eliminating waste. Now we're also looking at another process where we're physically stimulating in order to massage and help the dantian. Now let's go into the back. I'll turn here, give you the rear view. Let's go into the back, massage the back. I'm going I'm going down, I start from the middle, go to the side, and then down. Middle, side, down. Middle, side, down. Middle, out to the side, and down. Okay, and then I go back. So as you become more accustomed to this, as you do more, you can start to add more pressure. Anytime you massage uh, a part of the body, you facilitate blood flow. Anytime you massage a part of the body, you facilitate blood flow. So we've all done physical fitness and we've all experienced soreness. What do we do when we have soreness? We massage it to try to get that lactic acid out and also bring in fresh blood, which brings in fresh nutrients, right? So anytime we massage, bringing in fresh blood, and helping that elimination process, helping the cell replacement process. So that's the uh, two things that we, uh, two of the things that we looked at today, which I stressed in uh, last week's class. Okay, so I'll re I'll I'll uh, review and then we'll wrap up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, or post them here in the comments. Uh, let's see. So the three things that I asked uh, you guys to look at last, last time was, one, the felt sense. What are you feeling in your body um, in various moments of the day? What are you feeling in your body at various moments of the day? So the brain and the body are constantly communicating with one another. Are you able to pick up those messages and are you able to respond accordingly? So we're developing a deep felt sense. That's why we're doing so much internal awareness in the, in the body, just doing simple movements, just doing breathing and posturing to help uh, improve the communication of the brain and the body. The next thing that I asked you to look at was uh, the relationship of the energy center the Dantian, the relationship, and develop a deep relationship with the Dantian. One way to do that is abdominal massage. And then the last thing that we looked at was immunity last time. Um, and then two exercises, scholar breathing and martial fire breathing. Today, all we did was reverse, I'm sorry, today all we, all we did was regular abdominal breathing. So we actually came back in difficulty and just looked at deep abdominal um, breathing for relaxation. This is the basis and the foundation for meditative movements. This is the basis and the foundation for Tai Chi and Qigong movements and exercises. The breathing is uh, crucial and understanding the strategy and how to implement breathing is also crucial to the practice. Not just that, but you have to breathe. If you can take control of your breathing in life and if you can uh, be attuned and aware to how your breathing changes in response to external stimuli, you can then influence the breath and take control of also your vital energy. So that's really key. That's why I talk about integration. All of these practices and drills are about integration, integrating into your life. Okay. So that was three things. And today what we looked at is just deep abdominal breathing understanding how the abdomen and the lower back expands and contracts and then we looked at posture posture is a crucial foundation for tai chi tran posture is a crucial crucial foundation for 
Tai Chi Tran. And uh, in that, when, in that we look to sustain the um, central equilibrium. That means that the connection is, is intact from the feet and the connection to the earth all the way to the top of the head. The connection of, of, of the feet is intact all the way to the top of the head, okay? And so we're able to be attuned and aware of the messages coming from this space into our mental awareness and focus, okay? So where was I going? The exercise that we did was one of a spectrum exercise in that we did a nuanced movement, subtle movement of closing the spine bow and sinking the legs and bending the knees and then opening and elongating and erecting the posture. We simply did a, a prolonged meditative exercise, a meditative movement where we coordinated the inhale and the exhale with the body movement. We also exaggerated it. We came up, rolled, down, sunk, inhale, come up, Postured, exhale, sunk and relax that. Inhale, up. And then we bent back to very subtle. Almost to where you can't see the movement. Also coordinating that with the breath. And then we finally added the hands. What I call double yang coiling, double hand yang coiling and then we turn to the side All right but the key that i wanted the the takeaway that i asked you uh for today to look at was maintaining a deep abdominal breathing pace for yourself throughout the whole session if you've been with me from the very uh, beginning i hope that you were able to uh, maintain a deep abdominal breathing pace for yourself uh, you might be feeling very relaxed, you might be feeling loose, you might be feeling awake and charged. It, it really depends, depends on you. You might be ready for a nap. You might be warmed up and uh, with all the blood circulation, you're ready to, to go and do you know, more exercise and more movement, which is great. Okay? The thing is, what we did was we got in touch with the body, did a prolonged meditative movement, uh, addressed and uh, maintained awareness with the deep abdominal breathing inhaling and exhaling and so the goal is for you to maintain deep abdominal breathing pace uh, for yourself and in your life and throughout the movements of your life okay so we call that integration in integrating uh, components and principles that are foundational for qigong and tai chi integrating them into your everyday life that's the 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 benefit and that's really the 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 those are really the gifts that these uh eastern practices have uh to provide for us today especially in these times of crisis right now going into this crisis you could say that we've we already had been experiencing um, anxiety and depression so just this crisis in and of itself now compounds any stress any anxiety any pressures that you're feeling what you need to do is help your body to cycle through get through all of that stress anxiety through movements like this of relaxation um, continued prolonged breathing exercises and postural exercises as well so that's all i have for you today i'm going to finish up there looks like a couple of you enjoyed it so thanks for joining me today we will be back next uh saturday and uh feel free to reach out to me hope you all do well and enjoy and benefit from this and i will talk to you soon thank you to uh olo martial arts and uh, head instructor um anthony williams and i will talk to you next time uh, be well and take care